It's five o'clock and right now a new motion filed in the Delphi murders case has legal experts asking how the prosecutor in the case got certain information. It all focuses on how the state would know about a potential expert witness for the defense. Carroll County Prosecutor Nicholas McClellan is requesting access to Richard Allen's mental health records. He wants the records of his mental health since he was moved to state prisons. Rich Nye is here now to explain what else is in that motion that could send this case into even more legal battles. Rich? Okay, ladies, here we go to law school again okay. tonight. <laughs> the motion filed by the prosecutor Wednesday refers to the contents of a verified ex parte motion filed by the defense, and that's the problem. The prosecutor is not supposed to know what's in that motion. Richard Allen's public defenders Bradley Rosie and Andrew Baldwin have to ask Judge Francis Gull to approve funding to consult with experts on their case. That's done in private ex parte communication between the defense and the court only. But in a state request for access to Allen's prison mental health records, Prosecutor Nicholas McLean names a psychologist in the defense motion and quotes that motion. I'd be infuriated. Jim Brosnahan is a retired trial attorney, author, and lecturer. I'd go to the court and I'd say, I want to know. I want to know how this person knew uh, if I were doing it, I would say I'm making no assumptions. I don't know how it got out. I just know that it got out. It definitely raised questions uh, on how an ex parte motion would be available to a party or to the public. Because again, an ex parte motion is a motion that's filed under seal uh, to the court, and only the court should have access to that motion. The Indiana Public Defender Council says this points out the need for all Indiana counties to have state public defense funding through local or regional services that are independent of judges. Public defenders should be able to work completely without the control and supervision of a judge, um, like the prosecutors do, because you can imagine how a person who's accused of a crime would feel if the attorney is beholden to a judge for payment. And this is a this case screams that why that's a problem. Today I contacted the Carroll County prosecutor to ask him how he got the information from the ex parte motion but did not receive a reply. But of course, all of the parties involved in this are under a gag order. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talked to several attorneys today who all say that this is a serious problem that could result in some type of sanctions for whoever leaked this information. All right, Rich, uh, just another twist in right. this uh, ever confusing legal case. Thank you so much. Now, Richard Allen is charged in the deaths of two young girls, Abby Williams and Libby German. They both went on a hike near the Monon High Bridge in Delphi back in February of 2017. Both girls were reported missing and their bodies were found the very next day. We've been staying on top of any changes in the Delphi murders case. It's been a lot of twists and turns, but we have a timeline of events. You can head over to WTHR.com slash Delphi or just use your camera phone to scan this QR code that you see right there on your screen.